Greetings everybody, I'm Lobo, welcome to Luna. This is episode 164 of my Minecraft survival series and today we are heading over to the far side of the approach where, once upon a time, I saved a little bit of work for myself. Now, when I say I saved a little bit of work for myself, what I really mean is that I was lazy. And whenever I say I was lazy, people always bring this up, like, look at what you've accomplished here. Yeah, but also look at this, Exhibit A. Look at, look at this walkway surrounding the Explorer's Lodge and our tree farm and stuff like that. It's not the shape I originally wanted it to be, you know? We had mountains in the way and I was like, I'm not moving those mountains. We'll just make it work with the natural landscape and dress up the natural landscape to kind of, you know, work with what we've got here. But you know what? It's it's just not going to work, is it? So basically, I'm just tired of flying over this place and being unhappy with it, unsatisfied with the way it looks. So we're going to fix that today. This mountain right here, you know, this thing, it's going to have to go. Now, normally at this point, I would say, let's go ahead and call Watchdog on over, etc., etc. But to be honest, I'm not sure Watchdog would be able to find his way to us. We had some issues in the last episode. Is he not home? He said he would be at his house. Okay, well, unless he's getting a snack or something? No, okay. Uh, well, we need to find Watchdog. I need to find Watchdog. What? You see him up in that window? Hey, Watchdog, that's, that's not your house, bud. That's not your house. What, are you looking for something? You know what, I'll help you find it a little bit later. Just follow me for right now because we got some work to do. Yeah, so if you guys watched last episode, you know that Watchdog is having a little bit of trouble. He's not himself lately. He doesn't really know how to do the stuff that he's always done. So I'm kind of having to walk him through it a little bit and, you know, to kind of lead him up to where we're going. Is he not following me? Oh my goodness. Well, you know, I'll go ahead and get him into place. At this point, why don't we go ahead and put on a little bit of music and tear down some mountains.
Welcome back, everybody. And uh, we gave these mountains a trim. You know, they're no longer going to be an issue. We can build out this walkway as originally intended. Eventually, we will have to come in and like re-terraform this area because honestly, the, the backside of it especially is looking a bit messy, but we'll eventually get all that fixed. And if you were really paying attention during that time lapse, you may have seen me build a little dirt hut around a zombie villager, and there's a reason for that. Later on in the episode, we're going to be doing a little bit of work with, uh, you know, these guys. And I say these guys because we are going to have to collect one more zombie villager. Look at this guy, he's so angry. But he's going to be the start of a new generation of villagers living in Luna. And of course, after every therapeutic like mountain tearing down session, I do like to give you guys a little look inside the chest, a little sampling of what we've managed to collect during that time. And check it out, I'd even managed to, to use up all my tools, which is like a first for a mountain tearing down session, right? Uh, but before we move on, before we continue doing what we're doing, I do need to go ahead and prepare to capture another zombie villager. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and preemptively build a little holding cell for him. So we could do the old double trap door trick that a zombie is going to think those are blocks that he can walk over. But really, uh, you know, as we jump over, he'll walk over and then fall in the little hole we have set up for him. I think that should work. We just need to make sure we got clear routes. And then we need to make sure a zombie villager actually spawns over here. No, not zombies. Zombie villager. I like your initiative. You're just not what I'm looking for. Nope. Clear the mob cap. Don't need you, creeper. Uh, you know what? While we're out here, while we're waiting, instead of just waiting, why don't we make this a little bit- Ow. Rude. Make this a little bit more interesting. Uh-oh. Nope. No little dudes. Little dudes, stay away. Uh, get, leave me alone. Ow. And when I say, you know, let's make it interesting, I don't mean let's actually make it interesting. I just mean I'm going to run around and engage with the mobs rather than stay in a static location, just watch and hope a zombie villager spawns. I'm going to go ahead and try to actively get one to spawn. And they were everywhere earlier. I mean, everywhere. Okay, they weren't actually everywhere, but they were around, you know? Negative! Away with you. And this is all the wrong type of zombie. Go away. Don't need you. Oh my goodness. Go oh! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And now you guys need to- Oh, ooh, wow. Oh, you guys got that, that teamwork thing down, huh? You did. Listen, zombies, this would work out so much better for you if you just accept the fact that this is my mountain and you move on. Okay? Just- Go away. Got a little double creeper action, but no zombie villagers still. <sighs> Nothing like a long night of fighting monsters to make you realize that it was all, you know, pointless. So while we wait for night to fall again, we'll go ahead and do a little bit of work. So first thing we need to do is take out these sections of our walkway that are not the proper shape, which includes this little indentation right over here and this area with a big old chunk missing out of it in the back. Now, if you're wondering what we're planning on doing with the terraforming down here, uh, basically I just plan to kind of draw in a hillside that slopes down into the natural terrain. Like it'll go from like the bottom of this, this will be a wall then go down. Uh, but again, that's something we'll talk about a little bit later when we actually get around to doing that part. Now, as far as drawing in the new shape goes, what I'm going to do is post watchdog up here. That way you can kind of look down with an unobscured view and show me exactly where I need to place my blocks. But uh, the sun is going down now. So I think before we get around to that part, we're going to go ahead and try to find ourselves another zombie villager. So same plan as before. I'm just going to run around, have a little bit of fun, and uh, hopefully we see what we want to see. Well, you're just, you're not who I'm looking for. Oh, I overshot him overshot him no this is i'm in a bad spot okay uh, <laughs> that would have been cool if it actually worked wrong also wrong nope oh man all right oh and then she gave me slowness man yeah i just want a zombie villager why is that so much to ask i don't think it is i don't think it's too much to ask for oh guys <laughs> <laughs> Guys, check it out. Check it out. Okay, come on. Come on. You're the one that I want. Come on, follow me. You're the one that I want. You are the one that I need. Oh, yes, indeed. Clear the path. Get out of my way. 
They picked up an entourage. <laughs> they picked up an entourage, but that's okay. You know, this area is VIPs only. Oh my goodness, they picked up more. Where did these guys come from? Oh my goodness. All right, that's fine. Precision strikes here. Be careful not to injure the future. Uh, oh no, 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 no. Go away. Leave me alone. Oh my goodness. All right, you know what? We need to hurry up and get them in the chamber, in the hole. Before any any more of their friends show up, because uh, those guys are not fun. All right, come on, come on. Yes, yes, perfect. Ow, where's your friend? Where'd your friend go? Come on, ow. Oh, come on, come on, skeleton. I don't have time for this right now. Go away. I'm trying to do some stuff. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect, perfect. All right, let's go ahead and and seal them up. Let's seal them up. I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and seal them up. Oh, I'm too excited. I got blocks on me already. I don't need to. <laughs> All right. So really, I just needed two. But you know what? Three total is even better. So I will take it. All right. So we got our zombie villagers. Let me sleep and get rid of the rest of these fools. No, please. No, please. No. Something I just realized before I left here, I forgot to give them blocks. So there's a pretty good chance they may have despawned as I left the area. Oh my goodness. No. No. Ah. That was a real rookie mistake there on my part. Oh my goodness. When you realize your second straight night spent fighting monsters was a complete waste of time, what else is there to do but get back to work? And as I said, I got Watchdog posted up here. He's going to kind of show me where I need to place the blocks and we're going to go ahead and start drawing out the perimeter of our new expanded walkway. <laughs> oh man. All right. So still working on getting the, the outline, the shape traced in the way I want it to, but night is once again upon us, which means we have a third and possibly final chance before I give up uh, to get this zombie villager. <sighs> Listen, zombie, gotta be honest with you, not super in the mood for your shenanigans right now. I mean, I think they feel the same way. Look at these guys spawning in the tree, you know? It's almost as if they're as tired of fighting me as I am of fighting them. Nope. This is Sparta. <laughs> all right, well, you know, I tried to act like I wasn't enjoying myself because this is after all like the third night in a row that we're doing this, but uh, you know, it's fun. It's fun. Look at this guy riding his spider like a horsey. Yeah, no way. All right. Nope. You, okay. Yeah, you're too fast, first of all. Okay, now, you, now you're just too, too shooty. Oh, no, no. Okay, at least the cow's okay. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. Having less fun now. Please drop the blocks. Those are, those are mine. They go to my mountain, not yours. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> No, you don't. No, no more skeleton tag teams. That's enough of that. Stop it. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. All right. We don't have a whole lot of time left. It's going to be morning soon. So we need to hurry up and get these zombie villagers over here. No entourages this time. Don't bring your friends. If we can get just one, we're good. That's all we need is one more. Come on. Come on. Yes. Take this. Take the, take the wall. Just pick it up. Come on. Pick it up. He's not going to pick it up, is he? Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, where are the other ones? No. Mm. All right. You know what? Uh, let's just go ahead and, oh, he's burning. He's burning. It's daytime. It's daytime. Oh my goodness. Ah, ah. then we got a skeleton trapped in here with him. All right, you know, let's get rid of the skeleton. First order of business, get rid of the skeleton. If he's not the type to... Well, the cobblestone walls are gone. Right? Do you, do you have? Tell me you have. He has! Yes! <laughs> yes! All right. Finally. All right, so now that we're sure our zombie villagers aren't going to despawn, we'll go ahead and use one of our spare brewers in our in our brewing station right here 
to craft up a couple splash potions of weakness. And now might be a good time to go ahead and introduce these guys to each other since they will be working closely together in the very, very near future. All right, then we just have to splash them with this. Oh, I actually threw it instead of throwing it. Let me go ahead and throw it this time. And I think that got them. We don't have, I don't have particle effects or the, the particle thingies. Yeah, that, that seems to work. Okay. All right, now we just have to wait for them to turn into regular villagers. Hopefully sometime soon. I've never done this. I have no idea how long this actually takes. So, uh, we'll just hang out <laughs> and see. Hey, we got a, a zombie doctor. Zombie doctor, hey. Well, sun's going down. <laughs> this is going to happen eventually, right? I mean, you took your two golden apples. How's the thing? Take two of these, call me in the morning. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. You know, I thought it might be a good idea to try to separate these guys, but I can't get a block in here. This could be bad. Oh, here we go, here we go. And yes, yes, all right, awesome. So here's the thing, guys. I'm gonna need you to stay put in your little dirt hut for right now. Uh, by the end of this episode, though, I will have better accommodations for you, slightly better, and eventually, I will have much better accommodations for you. Eventually. Just stay put for right now, okay? You hear me? All right, so here's the plan. We're gonna go ahead and finish up this walkway and then move on to another project, which was actually supposed to be the main focus of today's video. <laughs> but yeah, I wanna go ahead and get this done first since we already started on it. Which means getting the shape just right before we do anything else. And then we can go ahead and get rid of our old perimeter. This does mean we're gonna be sacrificing the bit of wall that we made here previously. That's gonna now be uh, stuck inside the new wall, which we will eventually build. And at this point, we'll go ahead and get in our railings along our new perimeter. And as far as the walls go, we'll kind of build those up at another time when we go around to, you know, doing the landscaping, terraforming and all that stuff. I want to get the far stuff over here at the approach done before we work our way towards the, the I guess, nearer approach over here by uh, closest to Luna, like that area over there. Like that'll be something we tackle after we finish off this area. And now that that's all drawn in, we can go ahead and get it filled in, which means we're going to have to collect a bunch of spruce to go ahead and make our slabs. I just realized this walkway is actually very convenient for jumping onto these trees instead of having to, you know, chop my way up. And then we just need to get everything filled in, which will tackle section by section, somewhat time consuming, but overall not really hard work. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take care of it and I'll be back with you guys in just a few. Oh, and something to note, we got a lot of room up here, so eventually I might want to get a structure in to kind of fill in that space. And I was thinking, you know, it might be a good idea to have like a path that leads up into this section of the walkway that leads to that structure, kind of a, a back path into the approach area. That might be something that happens eventually, but I'm not committing to it, but it probably will happen. Oh, and note to self, Lobo. If in the future you plan to take any shortcuts, just just don't do it. Do it the do if you're gonna build something, build it the way you initially intended, because it will save you a lot of work in the long run. <laughs> Almost there, guys. Almost there. And there, yes. Done. So this is what it now looks like. So much better with a defined shape. We have plenty of room here for a structure in the future. And I think to fill this space, that is what's going to be needed. But uh, we're not working on any more of this stuff today. As I said, there is something else I want to do. All right, guys, your time has come. I'm starting your project now just a little bit longer. All right, so for the rest of this episode, what we're going to be working on, let me actually set the scene for you. So the approach is how people would enter Luna, right? You'd have to go through the approach to get into Luna. Like regardless of where you're coming from, the path they were talking about earlier or some other way, some other path into the city, you'd have to go through, let's say a welcome center and like a customs and immigration area in that welcome center. And I'm thinking this spot right here in this flat area might be a good place to put that. Now we're not gonna be working on the actual structure of it today, but I was thinking to simulate villagers coming into Luna, why don't we actually have new villagers coming into our world at this spot? So I'm thinking a villager breeder in this area might be in order. 
now because we are going to have a fairly big structure around this i think that this might be a good place to center that villager breeder that we can build the structure around it have like docks and paths and stuff like that around it uh now as far as the villager breeder design this is uh outside my area of I won't say expertise because I'm not an expert on anything, but knowledge. Um, so I will not be using my own design or trying to experiment, come up with one. I'm actually going to be using a design by Waddles. And if you're curious about the design and want to use it for yourself, well, there will be a link in the description below. And since this is not my design, I will not be walking you through it step by step. Instead, what I'm going to do is go ahead and collect what I need, call Watchdog on over to the site, put on a little bit of music and get it built. Welcome back everybody. The villager breeder is now built along with the collection area, which is over this way. But the villager breeder is missing one crucial component to get it actually working. And that is the villagers. Now the plan for getting these guys where they need to be is uh, we're going to use a boat and just pilot it along this uh, grass path over here. And hopefully, uh, you know, we don't run into any issues. We just need to make sure we only get one villager into the boat at a time so uh who wants to go first you look like you're lined up to go come on just step right up here i got a boat for you oh come on don't be difficult i promise you the accommodations over there are going to be even better than in this little dirt house and i promise you that eventually i will make the accommodations Aww. even better and you will be super comfortable and you know, it's going to be a lot better than being a being a zombie, right? You're glad you're not a zombie anymore, yes? All right, you hang out over here. I'm going to take your friend to work, and uh, I'll be back for you in just a moment. All right, so let's go ahead and start on our journey. Oh, it's going to be a long journey, too. Yeah, lined up here, and uh, <laughs> yes. Oh, green sparkles means he's claimed his bed. We have officially established a village. Oh, <laughs> right in my face. Uh, let's go ahead and get you inside that village. Yes, he has decided that this is, in fact, his new home. Enjoy it. I'm going to go get your friend so you won't be lonely. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's he's raring to go. He was like, a village, you say? Well, let me get over there. Well, you know what, guy? Just pop right on into this boat and we'll get you exactly where you need to be, which is right inside there with your buddy. And now uh, what we really need to do is get two more villagers in here. So I'm going to go ahead and seal up the drops down into the little transportation chamber below. And while those guys are getting acclimatized and acquainted, we will uh, go ahead and clean up my mess over here. And uh, once we're done with this, we'll come back and just see how these guys are, are liking their accommodations so far. Oh, check it out. Check it out. This could be the very beginning of a whole new wave of residents coming to Luna, a whole new wave of loonies coming to Luna, because that's apparently what we decided we're going to call our residents. There we go. There we go. So we need one more little guy and then uh, 
once he grows up, then uh, we'll be able to open up our trap doors here. All right, what are, are they? Are they? What? Is there no cool off period? Is there no cool down? Is there no cool down for this? Um, are they going? Are they seriously going to? We only need two. We only need two for for this place, guys. Okay, this could potentially be bad. It is. All right, we need to we need to get one of them out of this area, and you guys need to need to relax so that you're too good at your jobs. So I guess the thinking is that these the little villagers wander around so much that they're eventually just going to find their way into the holes. Uh, this is a good time to to see if that actually works. I mean, they are moving around a fair bit, except for this one guy who's just staring at me. Um, maybe if OK, well, yeah, there he goes. I was going to say maybe if I wasn't here, it would work a little bit better if I was like out of out of range. Uh, but yeah, we do have the two in here now. So since these guys have cooled down, it seems uh, we'll go ahead and seal everything back up and give the little dudes a chance to grow up. In the meantime, we can go ahead and see what became of the villager that went down into our water stream. So he has not made it over here yet, which means he's somewhere in the pipeline to what will be Luna's future transportation hub. Here he is. Uh, so basically, he's going to go over here to this collection area, which will eventually be a hub that will take these villagers wherever we need them or wherever they want to go in Luna. So, uh, yeah, that, that's another future project. We won't get too far into that yet either. All right, so I just want to make sure there weren't any glaring issues with the transportation system, and it does not appear as if there are because this guy made it. Uh, there will be much better accommodations here eventually. Uh, we just want to make sure it's far enough away from the farm to not interfere with that and far enough away from the approach to not pick up any jobs. Hopefully this is a good area. I don't know. We will see. Uh, we can always move it if it's not. Uh, but again, once we actually figure out where it's going to permanently be, the accommodations will be much better, I promise. And you won't even stay here for the long because from here, you'll be able to go anywhere or at least anywhere, you know, in Luna. Uh, but yeah, you got a bright future ahead of you, kid. Oh, no, we got we got three little villagers in here. You guys need to relax for a little bit. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to I'm gonna have to separate you two. You know, I can appreciate, oh no you don't, I can appreciate your initiative and enthusiasm, but you know, take a break. You know, it, it's, it's, have lunch, take a break, come on. <laughs> so progress update time, currently I'm editing earlier parts of the video and just kind of leaving these guys alone, uh, but I did notice that we did have one of them grow up, which is awesome. Uh, now we just have to wait for the, the next one, uh, which I, I guess should be fairly soon, right? All right, so it seems as if the Luna Welcome Center is now fully staffed, which is awesome, despite the Welcome Center not actually being built yet, but we will get there eventually. Uh, you got to watch where you're going. You don't want to you don't want to end up on the wrong side of this, Paul, my friend. Uh, but yeah, everything should be operational and working now, hopefully. Uh, I am not going to let this run for too long because I don't want to bring villagers into certain areas yet. We're just going to use this as needed. Uh, it looks like... Oh, yeah, we can actually just make sure everything is still, you know, functional here. So it looks like they don't have any problem bringing us new villagers, which is awesome. The question is, though, will those new villagers find the exit? Because that is the most crucial part about this actually working. OK, so one down the hole. Two down the hole. Perfect. And we got another one right there. Uh, so. I don't want this thing to keep running, as I said. So what we're going to do is kind of block off the water stream over there. So I did wire up a piston connected to this lever right here, which is going to push out a wall of slime blocks in front of the water stream, which will prevent the villagers from actually leaving the farm area, which should dissuade the ones up in the farm from actually bringing us new villagers. I am, however, wondering if there's any reason why I shouldn't uh, widen these holes to give the give the little villagers more area in which they can drop through kind of raise the chances of them dropping through I don't I can't think of any reason why that wouldn't work uh, but we will see all right so I wasn't actually paying attention and didn't see the little villagers drop down the holes but as you can see they are down there so I'm gonna go ahead and accept that this works uh, and is operational because I am kind of out of time. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to hit that little thumbs up button. That would mean a whole lot to me. If you want to see more, please remember to subscribe. And as always, I just want to thank you guys for hanging out today. I deeply appreciate it. And until next time, I am Lobo, and I will see you guys later.